Yes. And Technical Center. Yes. Um, the, we're headquartered in Brea, but we have two technical centers, one in Irvine and one here in Troy, Michigan. Upstairs is where all engineering program management folks are, as well as sales service and marketing. And downstairs here in, in, in the lab is where our technical center is and, and all our vehicles. So um, I want to welcome you here, Lawrence, and thank you, and thank you for being here. No, thank you. And I'll, and, and I'll turn it over to you. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, guys, I have to just apologize. I had scheduled for 5:30, and uh, you know, you, traffic is always unpredictable. Driving from my home in Nashville to my home here in uh, Detroit, Michigan. So I left at 4 a.m. this morning. I'm just now arriving, so I had to get a little extension. Forgive me, y'all. I'm here. First and foremost, the team is here. I've been working with Mullins for several months now. Uh, we've just been keeping things private until we got things to a. Uh, uh, to a level where we're ready to start making some announcements. Uh, these, as you can see, these are Mullins vans. Uh, I want you guys to understand, Mullins has been working very hard. They have invested a lot of time and money in this. We're not just sitting here with these vehicles for show. We're getting ready for production. They have customers who have placed orders. I'm not at limit to make that announcement. That needs to come from Mullins. But I'm here to work with this remarkable team they have been like family with me. We've been working. I mean, everybody's just very supportive. You need a screwdriver, a hammer, somebody rushing to get it to make sure we get get it done. And everybody here is from all parts of the country. Uh, they work together, different denomination, languages. So if I can't speak uh, India or Chinese, I go get somebody, and they interpret it for me. If I read something that's in Chinese, everybody's very happy to uh, assist me. So I want to just kind of just make mention, this is one of the vans, one of the most popular attractions that I love that Mullins has because I think this is one of the game changers. It could be used like when Amazon do deliveries. Uh, it could last a full day uh, with heavy packaging. And it's very economical for the customer. And it also, they don't have to spend a lot of money recharging it. And uh, I want you also, everybody's been emailing me. I probably got about 1,500 emails that I need to read that you guys sent me. So if anybody out of the 1,500 that I got just today, we're not mentioning about 1,000 or more last night, I'm, I'm, I'm going to respond to them. So I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. Everybody's going to get a response, okay? But hopefully I can answer some of your questions that you have today. And I didn't realize that Mullins has so much love. There's a lot of people rooting for Mullins, and that was encouraging for me. There was no cancellation under no circumstances. I decide, I'm going to make sure I be here, rain, sleet, or snow, okay? By the way, I've been living out here in Michigan for 12 years, so this is my second home, okay? Um, you saw the box. This is one of the applications. Other things go with it, software that makes this thing work. We have already tested this on numerous occasions. It's been tested by various independent companies. And we also did our own in-house testing. And then we also had an additional independent dyno test. And uh, I'm very impressed with this vehicle. And I think the customers are going to be very impressed. Um, we have a lot of great interest. Uh, we're not going to go into that because until they ink it, I have a motto. If it's not on paper, it doesn't exist. 
Okay, so that's our motto. This is why we quiet and we talk about all the companies that have expressed interest. Even I want to thank the guy that put us out there yesterday. Uh, he said he was a Mullen investor, or several of them. I want to thank him for putting me out there because it's a good problem to have. There's a whole lot of companies are calling. They were calling me and they want to express interest. When would this product be available uh, for it to start utilizing in their vehicles? They have interest. I'm directing them to Mullins. Although I'm the chief scientific office officer, I want to stick to what I love doing, inventing. This is therapy for me. I can work 24 hours and still be ready to go the next day. So I, as a kid, I'm the crazy guy when you're living in Mississippi you have flies flying in the window, and we had holes in the screens. I'm the guy that had the praying mantis tied by the window, so when the mosquitoes and flies come in, the praying mantis will catch them. So I've been tinkering for over 40 years. I've been working on batteries for over 30 years. My first job was with General Electric. I was working in all aspects of the field, from chemical, technical, engineering, and they used my results, whatever I'd done, and I said, hey, they give me a gold watch, said I couldn't do anything because they owned it. So I decided to go out on my own. Thought it would be easy, but it was a hard road. So guess what? I'm telling all you inventors, don't step out there on your own unless you got support like this. It's not as easy as you think. It's not like just invent cotton candy and go put it in the stores. You got to go through some rigorous testing because when a customer gets behind that wheel, you better make sure you meet all the safety requirements. And that's what Mullins is doing. A lot of people think, oh, they think about this microwave success. Oh, I put $5 in Mullins, I want 50 tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. You have to be a sophisticated investor, and it takes time. You got to be like the KFC owner. He got turned down over 100 times. But that one time, now you got KFCs all over the world. Dr. Seuss, I can give you a long list. So when I said Mullins is going to be the next Tesla, I have reasons why. Mullins prepared themselves for the future, okay? They believe so much in themselves, and when I got the vehicles, a list of vehicles, and they prepared for to meet this equation today. So guess what? Now Mullen has a demand. They don't have to tell their customer, oh, we gotta wait 20 weeks to get a vehicle to sell to the customers. They've already got their vehicles. They got plants in other locations ready to be kitted with what we have. Matter of fact, let me just make sure. Mullins already had sales before they met Lawrence Harge. All we're doing is upgrading now. When they were versus could have charged one price, now they can charge another price. But the great thing I want to make mention to you guys, the products we have is going to generate profits for your shareholders. We are, it's very economical, high profit margin, and it's easy to install. A high school dropout <laughs> could install this system in these vehicles. Not only would it help the communities, but it would help some of these kids that made some bad choices. Show me someone that made a bad choice in life, I'm sure somebody who haven't done anything. When you look at this box, it's not just a box. Everything has to have a marriage with something in order for us to work. So it's more that comes with this, but Anyone can plug this in a socket. But even though, although anyone can plug it in the socket, we got a bunch of quality engineers and technicians and, and uh, managers who have been with Ford, GM for over 30 years. They're well experienced. They don't have to be micromanaged. However, their job would be to make sure that anyone that comes and stands up under one of these lifts, they know the safety call so that we don't have any injuries. We're going through that right now, and I'm proud that Mullins put their investors, they love you guys, I appreciate you guys. I didn't know what I was walking into, but after you guys done the uh, live, you got a lot of love for Mullis. And I see, I, I heard your call, you just wanna know what's going on. 90% of you said y'all in, in this for the long haul with Mullis. It said even though the stocks may have dropped some, and that's the way life is. You walk away the last minute and next thing you know it's a Microsoft. Then you want to kick yourself because I should have stayed in. Same as me. What if I had quit when I went to the Fords and all those places? They express interest. 
I got this high bill negotiating with the lawyer. So your bill with Ford is 115000 Another lawyer, Los Angeles firm, 96000 I haven't even sold a rock yet. I got $200,000 bill. Okay? Then at the last moment, somebody said, oh, we invested hundreds of millions in a battery. Here's a guy come in and solve the problem. So let me just be simple and explain again, because I knew some of you guys said it was brilliant. In order for this van to get a thousand miles, we're talking about real time miles. We're not talking about plugging up on a dyno for 25 miles and lights on or whatever. That shows the consistency of the output and the input. That's the purpose of putting it on the dyno. So you can see that it's ready for mass production. But customers are having battery anxiety. So if you go out and tell your customer, based on EPA or whatever, yeah, that might be true, but the customers are confused. What if you got two kids, a wife, and a dog? Can I travel 250 miles to go see grandma and not need a charge? You couldn't before, but you can now. And that's what we're here for, so that you don't have that anxiety. Yes, we know it get various mileage, but I'm not going to tell you you can get 600 miles in Colorado going up a mountain like a slime board. However, we can say, okay, we're going to give you 300 miles plus. Not only that, this system that we have, so you can understand, batteries don't store energy. You have to come up with something that stores energy when you're rejuvenated. You cannot patent perpetual energy when you have a tire moving. Or you can patent kinetic, but you can't patent perpetual energy. So I come up with a system. It was simple. Nobody thought outside of the box. We done it, and it worked, and we filed a patent. This is where we are. So what we have is, when this vehicle is moving, it's storing energy from an all-electric uh, energy management. So what happens while it recharges itself, the energy that's being pulled out, it has to be stored somewhere. Okay? Where are you storing it? We have a place to store it. This box is like an alternator. As long as there's energy, it's generating, just like a combustible car. As long as it's got gas in the car, the alternator's going to run and keep that car running. It only needs the battery to start. So if you got 1,500 pounds of batteries in here to power this, okay, that straight power is more weight. But what if you have a system that you don't have to use all of these batteries? Reason being because you don't have to use all this energy, okay? So this is a system that we have, and when you, this car sits, let's say you drive to the airport, and you leave this car here, and you've already driven it, okay? So what happens is, the energy that was stored, when you park this car, we're not talking about assumption, this all been proven, and this car sits, it automatically releases the energy to recharge this vehicle. That's what's revolutionary about this. And not only that, when we talk about heat, these batteries, when you're running them at these cars at 70, 80 miles an hour, you're creating heat. And when you run that battery down to propulsion stage, these batteries are hot. You got to let them sit and cool off. If you don't, you're going to kill the cells. But with our system storing the energy, these batteries never get hot. It never overheats. You don't have to shut the car down like with the Chevy Bolt or no slamming to the Chevy Bolt. They were having issues. I went out and purchased a Chevy Bolt personally and solved the problem, sent it to the lab. Everything was consistent. The temperature never changed. And this is why we're here today. With that being said, I hope I've given you guys a synopsis of where we are with Mullins. And I want to thank Mullins for giving me this opportunity. I want to let you guys know that I'm always going to keep it 100. You have a question for me, I, if I can't answer it, I'll find someone who can answer it. But I would never mislead you or whatever. And I'm saying with all reality, it's coming from us. Give Mullins an opportunity. I commend Mullins for taking their time and not be under pressure and just to put something out to appease the shareholders and then to come back and backfire later. The worst thing you want to have 
when you have a startup company that's doing well to rush the progress, and then you start having recalls. So Mullins has already done a great job before I come in. All I'm doing is coming in with an aftermarket product, and we're going to install this all over the world. We're not, listen, Tesla want to come in and utilize this. I've already retrofitted a Tesla. People came to me about Tesla, uh, Chevy Bolt, a Porsche. The list goes on. I built the SUV from scratch that came from China here at Parks. We built it, made it just as good as the Tesla, very quality, no rattling, none of that. Software was converted to USA. So this is why we're saying we hope, we intend to, and I'm naming it, I'm claiming it. If I got to work 30 hours a week, I want to see some of you young kids who went to college, you save money versus $12 for a full tank of electricity, I'm going to say a full tank, <laughs> versus $60. This is why these cars are very popular. Right now, Uber drivers, Lyfts, uh, the people who picks up the food from the restaurant, they said they're making a killing. They were spending three, four hundred dollars a week on get, on fuel. Now they can do use these vans, the cars, and all of that. So what I want to make sure we understand when we say real time mouse, that said two, three passengers, one of hills, lights on. If you were in the traffic that I was in coming here today, and if you was in an electric vehicle without our application, you would be calling a tow truck because there's nothing to store that's nothing that's stored to energy and your battery's gonna go down. God forbid if it's in the winter time where you got to turn the heater on and the car usually depletes 20 to 25 percent rapidly with the heater on. Forbid if the AC on. So these are the things that I was looking at to make a happy consumer, a happy buyer. Y'all just have to be prepared. This is change. The world is changing. Some people are not ready for change. Even Saudis with the biggest oil industry in the world. They want to be a part of this. Well, they are a part of it, but I'm not going to say much more. We're here about Mullins today, not about all the other stuff. And I want y'all to say Mullins did not let y'all down. Y'all should be proud. I've seen it firsthand. Nobody has to tell me. And these vehicles are quality. They're not rallying, none of the above. And the customers that get this, they're going to be very satisfied. Once again, I apologize for being late. Thank you, Mullins shareholders. And I promise you, over the weekend, when I'm traveling to D.C., which I'll be making an announcement on my birthday. I'm going to try to answer every email. You taking the time out to email me, I'm going to take the time out to...